Phonetics, whole language, see, say. What is a balanced approach to reading? I'm John Conlon, and I've got a few answers to that question, but maybe not all of them. First, a balanced approach to reading should include phonemic awareness instruction, so phonetics, yes. And then phonetics instruction, more of it. Fluency instruction so that we're not stuck on particular words, but we can move from one word to another. Vocabulary instruction, such as the sight recognition words that we need to look at and can't really sound out too often. And then comprehension instruction. What's the main idea? What's the story? What happens next? Who is that entering the story? Another way to be sure that these goals are achieved is to have the student and the teacher read aloud. The teacher should be modeling reading. That includes stopping as, as appropriate with the punctuation and using a modulated tone instead of a monotone in reading. Second is shared reading. Students and teachers read from the same book and they take turns. A third is guided reading in small groups of instruction that should take place three to four days a week, maybe five days a week, for short periods of time. Phonics and vocabulary instruction are key to helping students achieve independence as they begin to sound out letters that are unfamiliar to them and then build upon that. This happens particularly in grades K through 3 for the phonics and in grades 3 to 8 for vocabulary instruction. Comprehension instruction should be taught in the six comprehension strategies as a tool for making meaning. And these, these strategies are these. Making connections, visualizing, inferring, questioning, determining importance, synthesizing, and monitoring reading. These are the keys to successful reading approaches, combining all of the C and say, the phonics, and the recogni word recognition of whole language. I'm John Conlon, and I hope this has helped you approach reading in a balanced way.